here, see what we got.
Edgar, see what we got. Oh, baby. Looky, looky. Looky, looky. Got me a long beard. May 13th, 114 in the afternoon. There were two other turkeys with them. I think one may have been a hen. He is. Uh, 15 pounds, maybe. So this is a place I uh, actually muzzleloader hunted in here this past winter and found this bench. I thought, man, it just looked like a good place for turkeys to hang out later in the afternoon. So I was out this morning and messed up on one on the roost. Spent a lot of the rest of the morning on a different piece, nothing, no goblin. Walk back in here, 36 yards up the hill there, I stopped and called. And I don't even remember what I was doing, get a drink of water or something, and a couple minutes passed and I heard a really faint gobble. So faint enough that I thought I can't really move because of the terrain, so I sit down and a couple soft yelps, he gobbled again. A couple minutes later, a couple soft yelps, he gobbled again, he's closer. And there's this down tree right here to my right, I'll show you, that either had to come on the downside or the upside. And I didn't want to have to guess. So I just gave a couple soft clucks and he gobbled and I could tell he was coming on the upside. And I decided already that Whitehead Goblin, I'm shooting. And he walked right into in the frame, popped his, stretched his head up looking. And I didn't even have to call to get him to raise his head. And the rest is history. So it's been a, what I call it a tough season is just turkey hunting. You know, sometimes you're into him, sometimes you're not. And I've been into him a couple times, close. And today, it just worked out. I thank you, Jesus, for this turkey. I love taking a day off work and killing a turkey. It just is so much sweeter than shooting one on a Saturday. So this bench just extends down. It's got this road. It's actually borders private. This road is the line. And it's a beautiful road for turkeys to come up. And I was I'm sitting right there. At that tree. And he stretched his head to look and I kabonged him. We had about a I don't know, seven inch beard. Hooks are marginal. Maybe three quarter if we stretch them, polish them up a little bit. But that fan, there's no, no jakey fan. That's a full fan, as you saw. Man. Drive it home after a long morning getting up at four is so sweet when you got one of these guys 
riding with you.